how many research have you read that says double blind studies that says glasses is, is good for you? How many have you read or heard about? There isn't any. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> uh, already in 1968, a Harvard professor, he wanted to find out what happens when you put glasses on. So he started by putting glasses on a chicken. <laughs> no, I have pictures of it. <laughs> okay, so what happened when he put minus lenses on, which is used for nearsight, the chicken's eye became more nearsighted. When he put plus lenses on, it became more farsighted. These are reading glasses. So the situation got worse. <coughs> if you put a plus on one eye and a minus on the other eye, they went in opposite directions. And of course, if you didn't put glasses on, nothing happened. <laughs> right? So that's, that's quite worrisome, okay? Now, since then, there have been studies, like New York University, 15 years ago, had a huge study, 45 pages. They went through the whole food chain, you know, with cats, dogs, fish, salmons with glasses, contact lenses, huh? <laughs> and our friends, the chimpanzees, okay? So this is particularly important <coughs> uh, for children because eyesight of children grows the, the child's eyes develops from age 0 to age 15. At age 15, the child's eyes is fully grown. Okay, so when you are born, your eyes are 17 millimeters in diameter. Okay, over the first 15 years, the eye grows to adult size, which is 24 millimeters. 24 millimeters is perfect eyesight. Okay, if you put a lens in front of the eyes of a child less than 15, like a minus lens, for example, okay? Then this lens become part of the growth of the eye of that child, okay? Now, the biologists who, wanted, who were doing these studies, they didn't want to have any hassles with the doctors. You know, they would probably say, well, this is not well researched, this is not well done, there's flaws in the research and all that stuff. You know what they did to prove that, that it is absolutely true? They cut a lens in half, covered only half the eye. So only half the eye grow, the half that is covered by the lens. So you could say to the biologist, I want my eyes to go to the left, please, or to the right. <laughs> right? It, it, they can't do this with children, of course. <laughs> they even cut the nerve to the brain to find out if the brain was involved. So the brain is not involved. It is something that happens within the eye itself. In medicine, it's called homeostasis. The, the body finds a balance. Right, like for some children, they know what to stop growing, right, fortunately. <laughs> so, so they have found the balance, and then they don't grow anymore. Right, so the same thing with the eyes. So <laughs> glasses for children is not a good idea. Adults, it takes longer time, but it's still the dynamic is there. Okay? So <clears throat> you might ask yourself, how come uh, this is not... Uh, adopted into the normal practice. I mean, the, the research is 15 years old. Right? You ask your doctor. <laughs>